How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we're back with another episode of the Enigma Project with Getafe CF. Welcome back to the series and um, before we start the video, I just want to say thank you very much to all of you guys. Yes, we have done it. We are now over 200 subscribers and yeah, very, very happy to achieve this milestone before the end of the year. And then um, of course, if you are new to here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified so you wouldn't miss out any of my video and then smash that like button on this video as well. So yeah, um, 200 subscribers, um, very, very thank you. And then um, thanks for all the constant support and stuff. And then yeah, I promise I'll do um, better quality video to all of you guys. So yes, um, a little bit of the recap on the last episode. We played one game against some Levante. 3-3 entertaining match, but then I'm not really happy about it. But then I actually played um, a lot of game offline. Um, yeah, over the weekend, I just like keep on playing this safe right here. So um, the game against Sevilla, we won 1-0, all thanks to Jamie Mata. Yes, Jamie Mata is back into the team and then back to the score sheet as well. So um, this another game against um, Atletico Madrid, actually, Anders Unert scored the first goal at the 10 minute. However, Felipe scored two goals and then um, Joao Felix scored another goal and then Atletico Madrid just beat us 3-1. So yeah, it was kind of sad, but then... Um, it, it is kind of expected as well, to be honest. And then the game against Aiba, yes, we should have won this game. But we didn't. 1-1 one, one draw against Aiba. And then the next game against Villarreal, we draw 1-1 one, one again. All thanks to Juan Hernandez, 77 minutes go. Or else, we are going to lose this game. But then the next game against Huesca, this game was absolutely incredible. Anas Uno scored a um, hat-trick. Yes, um, 8 minute go and then 35th minutes go and then a penalty at the 88th minute. And then uh, Mark Kukureya scored 2 goals as well. Yes, our left wing back scored 2 goals as well. And then 7-1, very very great result. And then next game, next game against um, Alaves, we won 3-1 again. And then Valladolid, we won 2-1. And then Enes Unos actually is playing pretty well um, so far. And then the last game that I played offline, we lost 1-0 against... Um, Valencia and then Valencia was um at the second of the league table if I'm not mistaken. In fact, let me just show you guys the league table. Yeah, so the top four is actually confirmed. To be honest, yes, we can't really um chase them. So um Barcelona at the fourth position with seventy one point and look at the fifth position, Real San Sebastian fifty three points. Yes, we are nowhere near there. We are now um holding forty eight points, two points behind the sixth position, and then um. Yeah, hopefully we can um actually qualify to the um sixth position. I would say let's just look let's just look at the rules right here. So um if as you can see right here, I'm not sure whether you can see it or not. Yes, um I'm pretty sure now you can see it. So the first until the fourth position, of course, um Champions League um qual Champions League um competition in the next season. However, in the fifth um position, they will just qualify to the Europa League and then sixth position as well. If we finish 7th position, we will have to play the playoffs. Well, obviously, finish 7th position, I'll be absolutely delighted um, in our first season. However, I was actually aiming for um, the 6th position maybe, so we can just straight away qualify for the Europa League instead of playing the playoffs right there. Because, um, yes, if we lost the playoffs, obviously we can't go to the group stage, and then I actually don't want to risk my player to go and play the playoffs. So, yes, um... We are just going to aim for um the sixth position finish. However, I'm not sure whether we will do it. Um, we, we we can do it or not. And then today we are going to play against Granada, who is sitting at a tenth position with forty one points. So uh, let's look at Granada. Um, result in the last five game. Wow, they are actually in a pretty pretty good form. Last five games, they won four game and um only lost one against Villarreal. And then um, they won against Aiba, which we couldn't. 
and then the won against Sevilla, which we did. And then Huesca 3 0, and then um, Villarreal lost 1 0. We actually, I think we actually drew um, Villarreal and then Valladolid 2 0. So today they are going to face us, Getafe, at um, their home turf. Yes, we are actually traveled to Granada today. So yeah, let me just show you guys the tactics right here. Yeah, so in the last episode, um, Francesco Portillo picked up an injury. So previously we were playing like AM right here, but then right now I'm actually playing three midfielder right here. So a deep line playmaker in the middle and then box to box on the um right, and then David Timo playing as a Mazala at the left side. Yes, um sometimes I'll actually play actually play Maximovic as the Mazala and then Yaya Torre coming in as a deep line playmaker. Or I actually starting to give this youngster a chance, Loney from uh, Manchester City, Ante Palavrosa. Yes, he can either play as the uh, Mazala or the box-to-box -box midfielder. Yes, I'm just still exploring right here. And then another bad news, I don't know whether I show you guys this or not, because um, Damien Suarez is actually leaving us in the next season. Yes, he handed in a transfer request, and then we're actually going to sell him because um he thinks that he can't get the um, play time. And I just want to compare him with um, Alan Norm. Where are you, Alan Norm? And, and, and yes, Norm. So um, compared to Alan Norm, I actually prefer Alan Norm um, over Damien Suarez. Yes, both of them are actually um, 32 years old, I believe. Yes, 1988. Um, but then I just feel like Alan Norm did way better than um, Damien Suarez. Although Damien Suarez is actually our captain right now, yes, um, this season is not going um good so far because um Damien Suarez, our new captain, is going to leave us, and then our previous captain Dijani is also leaving us at the end of the season. However, I'm just going to use um this money to bring in another player in um in next season. I believe that's um we are going to change a lot players in the next season because I think Angel is leaving us as well because um his contract is actually ending soon and. I am not going to um, offer him a contract, unfortunately. Yes, because he's just not good enough for us. But yeah, I will see what I can do, you know. Um, because obviously, we can only have 8 players from um, Adidas, 8 players from Nike, and then 8 players from um, Puma. However, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. And then I'll just do the um, pre-season and the transfer um, offline myself. And then I'll just show you guys who I signed in the next season. Anyways, um, today is all about this game against Granada, and then this will be my starting eleven. So no big drama right here. Maximovic, Timo, um, Arambari will be our midfielder. Kukurea on the left. Um, Alan Nom on the right, and our three defenders remain as um Kema, Kabako, Axeta, and David Soria, our first choice goalkeeper for sure. And then two strikers up front: Anas Unal and Jamie Mata. Yeah. So um, without further ado, let's jump straight into the game. Alright guys, we are now in the dressing room and I am just going to be um let's just be cool man. Let's just um hands on hips and then say we can potentially move into a qualification spot win uh, with a win right here. So I'm expecting you to deliver. Okay, Shabi Asakta actually looks um demotivated. I'm just going to point a finger and say I have faith in you. Come on. Guys, we have to win this game right here. Go into the tunnel, go into the match preview, and here we are. Kicking off this game with extended highlight as well. So yes, um, very, very looking forward to this game, to be honest. I hope we can actually score an early goal right here. And then let's just, um, yeah, hold the lead. And then, um, but we're not looking well right here. So Granada with an attack right here. Vico got the ball and Kukureya, what a tackle. But still managed to cross it in. Oh my god. I thought that's a goal as well. That is just well wide right here. Yes. Um. Yeah. Granada has got um pretty good players. I th I think um I recognize name Manchis, um the left winger, and then as well as Luis Suarez. Not that Luis Suarez, but yes, Luis Suarez. And then um Victor Val is it Victor Vallejo? No. Um Jesus Vallejo. Um at the center back position. And then um yeah we are in the um away as well so expecting a very very tough game but here's Alan Norm dribble past David Munchi and then to Maximovic pass it to Kukurea what a goal what a good pass ah oh! Anas Unos that's an offside but that's a good um good off the ball movement right there however it's actually offside and we did not hit the target as well so that's that's kind of sad to be honest Hector Herrera to Victor Diaz to Gonalos 
Anas Uno, what's, what an interception. Come on, Mata. Pass it to Anas Uno, come on. And chip it the keeper, come on. Yes, 11 goal of the season. Anas Uno, yes. That's what we train him in the um, training session because um, I actually um, asked my um, assistant manager to train him to chip the keeper whenever possible. And that's a good result. That's a great, great work from Anas Uno. And now we are actually up to the um, six, seven positions or six positions, sorry. And then here's another attack for us. Um, Alan Norm from the right wing position to Arambari. Pass it to Maximovic. Maximovic to Alan Norm again, but yes, um, he just can't stop the ball right there. And then Herrera, pass it to Manchis. Herrera again, long ball forward finding Suarez, but Axeta managed to intercept the ball. Arambari, that's a very good one. And then they are actually pressing us very, very um, high up here. What a good pass finding Kukureya. Dribble pass the defender, cross it in, but no. Kukureya actually choose to hit a shot. And then it's off target, but that's fine. That's a very good um try, I would say. Vico with the corner right there. What a good clearance by um Axeta. Manchis got the loose ball. Anas Uno, good one, good pressure. Valeo, gonna loss. Vico, oh come on, Victor Diaz is just empty right there, isn't it? Come on, cross it in. And yes, Luis Suarez just hit the go the ball into the back of the net. Yes, we just can't left um. Victor Diaz right there, empty. Let's just go with um narrow and then um let's play um should we just actually let's oh uh, I don't know actually should we just go with um higher defensive line maybe not let's just um go with get stuck in you know let's just win the ball back faster I would say okay let's just go into the dressing room and I'm going to point finger and say I'm not happy with the performance yes we should score more goals and looking at the um, XG right here, 0 0.42. Okay, that's actually fine. We're actually higher than Granada, but yes, still not happy about it. And then here's a foul on Perez and here's a free kick for us. Can we actually turn this free kick into a goal? Maximovic, cross it in and oh, it's just gone over the bar. Oh my God. All right, looking at the um, player ratings right here, Kabako 6.4, Kema 6.4. Yes, our center back's actually not playing well, man. Manchis with the long range effort, but it's just well wide. Okay, let me think what I can do. Maybe I'm just going to sub on um, Guan Hernandez soon. Um, Maybe just um bring off David Timo right there. What a cross, but then yeah, just can't find um, Alan Nom right there. Chabi Axeta, pass it to Alan Nom. Alan Nom to Arambari. Arambari finding Mata. Nom again. Come on, going into the box. And Jamie Mata can't find a target right there. Kema picked up the loose ball. And the highlight just ended right here. Let's just go with attacking mentality. And then let's just pass into space and go more direct right, right there. Okay, I think I am just going to sub, do some substitution. So Eric Kabako is playing badly. Let's just um, bring on Dijane. And then David Timor is actually playing well. Okay, let's just give David Timor a chance to play as deep line playmaker. And then attacking midfielder on attack. Let's just bring on um, Hernandez right there. And I'm just going to pump face and say, I have faith in you. Go there, make a difference. Come on. And that's a good one to... Wow, that's a good save by David Soria. I did not expect that. I thought that would be a goal for Luis Suarez right there. Okay, right now 17 minutes and then we still can't um, find the target. Anas Uno's with the free kick or oh, into the side netting. That's a close one. Okay, let's just see what I can do. Let's just pause the game right here. So we only have um, 13 minutes left. Okay, Arambari is running out of stamina. Let's just sub, on, sub off Arambari for Yaya Toure. And I want Yaya Toure to be the deep line playmaker on defense. Two... And then Guan Hernandez, actually, you can play as a shadow striker right there. Let's just see if this is going well, man. So Guan Hernandez, shadow striker, David Timo, deep line playmaker, and then Yaya Torre, deep line playmaker on defense. Oh, I'm not sure whether that's gonna work, but then why not? We'll just try it, man. We'll just try this. And then I am just going to go with more narrow as well. Let's just give the team talk, pump fist, and say, I want to see a difference right there. Come on. 10 minutes, last 10 minutes. I'm just going to berate the team. See um, if that's 
change anything. Jamie Mata 6.4. Should we just sub him off for Angel? Let's just do it. Our last substitution. Come on. We, we only have 7 shots and 2 on target. And then that's um extra 4 minutes. And I don't think there's any highlight. And this is just the end of the um, game, isn't it? Kema. Come on. Pause it. Soldado. Dejane. Yaya Torre. Yes, that's just finish. The game finished 1-1. And I'm not happy with that. Oh my god. Oh, we should have win the game, actually. We are we are actually having so many draws in this season, to be honest. Let's just look at the league table um, right now. 7th position. We are still at the 7th position. 1 point behind um, Villarreal. And then Villarreal actually has um, 1 less game than us. And then next, next game, we are going to play against Real Madrid. Yes, I am not confident with this, for sure. I think we will... Obviously, we'll lose. Um, we'll lose Real Madrid, and then the next game against um Real Betis, and then Bilbao, and then oh, and then oh, Real Sociedad again, and then Atlético Pamplona. Yes, I think I am just going to play all this game offline, and then we will be back with the last game of the season. And we, I'm pretty sure by the time we will see whether or not we can finish at the 6th position or we still finish at the 7th position or maybe we will um, finish outside um, the top 7. Yes, I hope that's not going to happen but we will see how it goes and I think I'm just going to end this episode right here so if you enjoy watching the content make sure you hit the subscribe button leave a like, leave a comment and share it to your friends also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football. So yes, um, that's all from me today, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.